Good afternoon. Our first item of business today is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader is the Reverend Mary Ann Rennie, Parish Minister of the Abbey Church in Dunfermline. Presiding officer and members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for the invitation to offer a reflection today. These last few weeks have been full of celebrations for the church community of which I am part. On the 17th and 18th of February, we marked 200 years since the rediscovery of the tomb of Robert the Bruce. And this weekend just passed, we've been celebrating 200 years since the laying of the foundation stone of the new Abbey Church. The first of these two events, the rediscovery of the tomb, led to a hurried redraft of the plans for the new building by the architect William Byrne. It wasn't until three years later that the vision of the new design was visible to all, as the tower of the church soared into the sky and the crown around it declared King Robert the Bruce. At the time, there was criticism and one unnamed commentator quoted in the annals of Dunfermline as declaring the great tower is out of architectural proportion and the words round the top of it are in bad taste. For those visiting Dunfermline today, the tower and those words act as a signpost, bringing those looking for royalty to our door. Of course, today they also have to navigate through the one-way system. The boasting of an earthly king on a building created for worship with the heavens frequently prompts the question of why this name rather than Christ's name. As a Christian community, our purpose is to be the church in worship and in action. At times, the history can be overwhelming of our purpose. While celebrating Robert the Bruce's myth, mystique and heroism, we're also aware of his duplicity, subterfuge and bloodshed. These elements of his life are shared with other historical and even biblical heroes. They're reminders of the flaws of humanity. The meeting of the gospel story of Jesus Christ with the story of the King of Scots within the building brings richness to Jesus' meeting with the flaws of humanity and still looking for the best. In challenging politician, thief and religious leader, Jesus brought to the fore human qualities of love, compassion and justice to be treasured, inspired and nurtured. We do not need to have faith to know the challenge of being part of a community. Living with other people can mean knowing too well the adage of sticks and stones may break my bones. But living with others should be an opportunity to look for and celebrate the best of another and to be enriched by that encounter. 